All right, I'm going to try to make a very short video. Um, I've got my family here, so I have to excuse any loudness, noises in the background. Um, exam two, wanted to bring that up. Someone brought it to my attention that I provided you with the exam two study guide as opposed to the exam one study guide. So because of that, you can retake the first exam for partial credit. It will be um, averaged. So for example, let's say you got a 50 the first time you took it. If you retake it again and get a 100%, the average of 50 and 100 will be 75. The thing is, if you take it again, um, this next time, it's not timed and it'll be open book. So basically, you know, there, there's no limitations. Just go in there and get the exam done. Only thing is, you just need to email me and let me know that you want to retake it and I will open it back up for you and you can retake it. And another good thing for, for you guys is, let's say somehow you retake the exam and even though it's not timed and it's open book the second time, if for some weird reason you get a lower grade, then we'll just stick with the original higher grade. So there's nothing to lose. Um, if you want to retake the exam, email me and we'll make that happen. Um, if you want specific feedback on any of your assignments, email me, let me know. We can meet online and we can talk about your assignments. I would really, really love to do that because that's really where a lot of the learning comes from. Doing the assignments, you learn a little bit from it, but if we could actually talk and converse and talk about what you got right, what you got wrong, then that would really help help your understanding. And also it would help your grade because you get at least a 5% boost to your grade if we meet online and discuss your assignment. And other general advice that I've said before, but I'll say again, just make sure you're paying attention to detail, you know, with the prompts uh, for the discussions, it seems, you know, that nearly everything people have been writing, nearly everything people have been writing has have been great for the sake of discussion. Just make sure for the sake of grading that you're reading the prompts carefully, because unfortunately it's not just about the discussion. Um, every discussion itself is actually worth, or excuse me, it's actually there to mm, allow you to demonstrate that you understand the concept, right? And it should be clear in each prompt, which concept or concepts that you're there to demonstrate that you understand. And if not, you know, let me know and I can help you out with that. So I guess that's it. Um, have a good week. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please uh, allow me to give you some detailed feedback. Uh, you know where to reach me. And another thing on a practical note, I will be traveling and out of town um, starting on Thursday, and I'll be back on Sunday. So please forgive me in advance for being a little bit slow to respond to emails and slow to grade. Um, but as always, I always recommend getting the assignments done earlier in the week. That way you have the rest of the week to correct any mistakes you may have made for full credit. So I guess that's it. If anybody has any questions, please let me know.